Hello and welcome to Royal Gist. Body language expert claimed to spot signs that old Prince Harry has made a comeback. Prince Harry was reportedly back to his old self yesterday, according to signs two body language experts saw. So guys, as we get right into the full story, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Prince Harry attended King Charles III's coronation on his own on Saturday as Meghan Markle stayed in California with their two children. Several body language experts have analyzed footage and images of the Duke and Duchess under the Duke of Sussex at the momentous occasion and two seem to agree they saw elements of the old Harry. Body language and communication expert Louise Maller told Sunrise Australia her thoughts, she said, Prince Harry arriving, I think we got our first glimpse of Harry for years. He was the old Harry, coming in smiling, laughing, walking tall and looking magnificent. The fact that he was on his own was a benefit, but his issue was he thought he could look at people and speak to them and they would speak back to him. But it didn't work, she, she suggested. You know, um, it, it would have been better if he just looked and smiled but he focused in on people wanting a conversation but they didn't engage and that mustn't have been must have been difficult for him author of the body language bible judy james shared her thoughts with page six saying harry looked cheerful to the point of ch of cocky it's almost as though none of the events of the past couple of years had ever happened she discussed how harry arrived laughing and joking and pointed out the meme he performed that referred to Princess Eugenie's heavily pregnant baby bump and making them all chuckle. He also greeted the clergy with warmth and adopted the upbeat, slightly rolling, white stride gait to suggest breezy cheerfulness, Judy said. The expert went on to suggest how royal fans saw a comeback of the Joker Prince. Nothing Harry was bouncy and resilient and claimed he looked honored to be seated three rows back. Judy went on to compare Harry's body language yesterday to pre-coronation. She said, I would bet Harry would attend looking solitary and isolated without Megan, using some anxiety rituals like his signature tummy pat, haunted eye expression, and wedding ring fiddle to self-comfort. But the expert claimed Harry's behavior was a counter-intuitive performance that was almost half breathtaking, referencing the no hope ready he is currently being given in terms of returning to the bosom of his royal family. And when his immediate family walked past, he seemingly diverted his attention. When Charles, William and Kate entered Westminster Abbey, Judy said, Harry performed what looked like an oddly timed act of ignore or attention di diversion as his father, brother and sister-in-law walked in a procession in front of him. Harry was looking up at Charles. Charles, William and Kate arrived to walk past, but after looking at his father, Harry turned his head to speak to Eduardo again in a very odd way at a crucial point in the ceremony when all eyes and attention were on Charles and William's arrival. 